This is a beautiful book. It's totally transformed my approach to writing and to some extent learning. And by the end of this video, I hope to have persuaded you that it can do the same for you too. I want you to see the book and I want to show you why I like it so much, why I think it's so effective, how it could transform your learning. And also I'm going to tell you who William Zinser was because he was a very interesting chap. This is William Zinser, and for about 70 years, he was a professional writer. He worked at the New York Herald Tribune, he wrote for the New Yorker, and he was editor of the Yale magazine. But it was as a teacher that he really found his reach and renown. He taught a really popular and very highly regarded non-fiction writing course at Yale University. And one of his books called On Writing Well, and you can guess what that was about, has sold over one and a half million copies. I have a copy and I'm going to share it with you later because now we're going to focus on... This is a book about why you should write, how you should write, and what will happen if you use writing as a tool to learn. And I think the most important thing to say first is that it's not purely aimed at people who want to learn to write, although it does work for that. It's aimed at people that want to learn anything, even maths or physics. Now I battled my way through a physics degree and I would have scoffed at the idea of using writing as a way of learning, say, Maxwell's equations but I don't anymore. As Insa says, we can use writing to find out what we know and what we don't know. Are there holes in your knowledge or in your reasoning? Writing will expose them and by pure force of thought, help you understand them. But I have a problem and I don't know, maybe you do too. I hate writing. It's painful for me. Squeezing thoughts out of my head and trying to put them on paper or write them on a screen. It's slow, it's frustrating, and it never really reads as well as I would have hoped. But you can take comfort from the knowledge that Zinser didn't like writing either. I don't like to write, but I take great pleasure in having written, in having finally made an arrangement that has a certain inevitability, like the solution to a mathematical problem. Perhaps in no other line of work is delayed gratification so delayed. The book is divided into two parts. The first part is Zinser telling us why he's writing the book in the first place, how he got the idea, uh, what he hopes to achieve, and how he aims to do that. Writing is a tool that enables people in every discipline to wrestle with facts and ideas. It compels us by the repeated effort of language to go after those thoughts and to organize them and present them clearly. It forces us to keep asking, am I saying what I want to say? Very often the answer is no. And then part two is a curated collection put together by Zinser of what he considers to be really good writing. And he includes passages and then explains why that writing is so good. And that's done in different disciplines. So it's done for art, music, science, and maths. But what does Zinser have to say about part two? All the writers represented in part two wrote clearly because the act of writing and rewriting made them think clearly, organize their ideas, told them what they knew and what they still needed to know and pushed them to new areas of knowledge. It can do the same for you. Now I have seen criticisms of the book in other reviews that I've read where people say it's not a how-to guide uh, and it doesn't give concrete examples on what you need to do. But that is really the intention. And in fact, on page 75, Zinza himself says, If it's also about writing to learn, and it is, I've left that mostly implicit not wanting to numb you with repetition of the same obvious point. What I find really interesting is that Zintz's intuition was really spot on. He suggested that two types of writing are useful. Explanatory writing, where you explain what you know, and then exploratory writing, which is more sort of a free-form writing where you write anything you like about a topic, how it relates to you, what you understand, what you don't understand, how it relates to stuff that you already know about that subject. And it turns out that what Zinser is suggesting encompasses some of the best known learning techniques that have been discovered using scientific research. And they are, uh, can I remember, uh, retrieval practice, space practice, elaborative in, uh, interrogation, interleaving. Now I promised to show you one of Zinser's other books. So here it is. Just take a look at this. If you want to learn to write or you want to improve your writing, this book is an excellent choice. It's packed full of wisdom and advice. This is what Zinsa has to say about ending a piece of writing. When you're ready to stop, stop. If you've presented all the facts and made the point you want to make, look for the nearest exit. Do you know how AI works? Would you like to? Then I recommend you take a look at the large language model course from brilliant.org, the sponsor of this video. Let me show you. 
The course will give you a firm understanding of how LLMs work. With interactive examples, you'll find out what goes on beneath the surface when you use them. Imagine being able to understand one of the most important technologies ever created. With this course, you will. But Brilliant has more than that. Brilliant is the best way to learn math, science and computer science. Whether you want to learn to code or dive into data science, Brilliant will have something for you. Brilliant makes learning come alive. You're not just remembering facts, you're understanding concepts. The lessons are designed to be hands-on and as you work through the courses, you learn how to think and problem solve. Brilliant has thousands of lessons from basic to advanced topics with new lessons added each month so you can learn at your own pace and you're matched with content that's at the right level for you. To see how far Brilliant could take you, try everything they have to offer free for 30 days by going to brilliant.org forward slash Python programmer or just click on the link in the description. And if you're one of the first 200 people to do that, you'll get 20% off Brilliant's annual premium subscription.